Hello and welcome to Blaze of Games. In this video I'm just going over the Economy 2.0 update. I'm noticing it's getting a lot more stable now. I'm making a pretty good amount of money. Uh, I only have a high school and an elementary school. I'm considering doing the university now that I have enough money. But it's going to cost quite a bit. So, yeah, needed to save up the money. So, this is on my newest map called Triangle Economy 2.0. It's got a lot of different highway interchanges. And I decided to build a little bit more realistic of a, a city and try this update. Sandbox mode is off, so I'm just really going through it and seeing how the game performs. Overall, the demand seems to be more balanced now. You're not just getting these little tiny medium density districts. You're getting more like a downtown. So that's been a lot more stable. Before I found it was just, uh, you'd get like maybe five or six tall high rise buildings and then that was it for the first milestones. So it was more like scripted that way. And now it does seem a little bit more free flowing depending on what you do for your city. So I know if I get the university in, I'll get a lot better demands. So my plan was to put it over here somewhere. Now I have the tram all in operation. I have it disconnected from the roads. I find that works a lot better just using these like a, a train track. And they get around pretty quickly. They hold a lot of people. I think there's a little traffic jam going on there. Just as I say, it runs better. But yeah, they do actually run pretty smooth. They don't stop very long at the stop, so I have a pretty good network. Just kind of a figure eight around the the co the the uh, city. And yeah, I think once I get up to about two mil, then I can build in the university. So I'm gonna start. Yeah, I have plenty of space for that. I think since I had only 200,000 and I got up to a, almost 2 million, I think I can afford it now. Just no extra add ons. Well, that's not too bad. 50, that costs a little too much. Uh, I don't think I need that. See how the money's stabilizing. 50,000 still. I think... <clears throat> I think I'm still going to hit that point where it, the money is just coming through the roof. So... Usually, once you hit about 75,000 people... The money would just start pouring in and it didn't matter what you did or didn't do. So I'm making a pretty good amount of money off industrial right now. I don't have a whole lot of production. I think that's the next uh, step up. So as for natural resources, I have this whole island just littered with all your resources all right next to the highways so they can have their trade routes you have a lot of uh, we can use the sea as well so I'm considering that somewhere along here having a, a port that one's actually pretty cheap so I think I can afford that And we would just put it over here somewhere. Let's see. 
Yeah, something like that. Um, let's see. Alright, yeah. I don't like those adverts. So, yeah, this city isn't that realistic. I didn't do a whole lot of detailing. I just made sure all my road connections are a lot better. A few extra pathways connecting things. But overall, I'm not, I'm not really into building, like, 100% accurate cities. I grew up on SimCity, so that game was such a challenge to uh, build your cities that you didn't really think about, you know, building 100% realistic. And we didn't really have the options. Like SimCity 5, you just had an avenue and a few roads. So we didn't really get the highways in SimCity 5. And anything before that, it was pretty good. SimCity 4 was good, yeah. It's just the uh, the top-down view. You don't really get a whole lot of, uh, you know, creativity with that. See how many people are on that tram, 6,000, that's pretty good. Let's see if the education thing's settling, no. They have 5,800 people that need to go to school. Yikes. But, they don't complain as much. I think I can get the college after, so we're gonna have to try both. And I'm not going to give them 100 elementary schools, so I think uh, Colossal or I think they have to, what they have to do is make these double or triple expansions. I want to put in another school, like a miniature classroom, you know, most elementary schools have that little temporary uh, classrooms that you could add on. I think these should fit maybe like 3,000, maybe 3,500 kids. Just because I don't want my whole city to just be littered in schools. And it's all one single design, so I think they really should have done something more modular. Give us a, a, a base, a very standardized base and then we can kind of modify how long we want it you know you could give us the front entrance and then we just keep expanding it left to right or up to down I think that would be cool and then each school would kind of look a little bit different just because it's got different amount of modules alright well I'm gonna have to put more people in my high school. These guys are suffering, so that 400 student capacity for 130,000 or 800 for 300,000. Hmm. So 150,000. Yeah, I guess that's a little bit cheaper. That's gonna fill right up. Gonna need, we're gonna need another school. Unfortunately. Gonna have to put another one in. I think I'll put it over here. I used to have a, uh, a landfill over here. So, it's not the most desirable area. got the uh, recycling center I always had the least amount of issues using these so and what I found with 
prior to at least this new patch is you don't want anything else you just want to use one you know you want a landfill or a recycling center these are just kind of a little bit too much like you can generate some power at least but you're gonna have a whole boatload of pollution so I don't think those are even worth it so I think I'll just have a recycling center over here somewhere in the future they don't really generate pollution if you don't add the uh, the modules so yeah just keep it the way it is let's see the uh, the main intersection how busy it is doesn't seem too bad got these routed pretty good they could be better though I know I could have had less lanes or you know but I like doing it just like this so just because the traffic itself doesn't really change lanes properly So, yeah, they're just kind of going in any lane. But I could decrease the lanes on this side here. Looks like it's working okay, though. Don't have any traffic jams, and that's really the main point of building this one extra detailed make sure all the connections are accounted for so yeah you guys need to get to your uh, city a lot quicker these are more basic ones but they're very functional and they have nice long exits so that usually alleviates any traffic jams so I've been doing that with all of them making sure that you're not leaving and entering at the exact same point same thing here nice long exits a long time per spot yeah, I don't see any issues Got the five lanes. I think I got a tornado. Tornado is very lackluster. I guess, you know, at the same time of me saying that I wish they would destroy more things, it would suck if it destroyed your highway. Then you gotta rebuild your connection. But see, what I think they should do is allow us in the game to build something, a highway interchange, and then save it into our selection. We should have a selector tool, maybe somewhere up here, a selector tool, and we can copy that asset and make it our own, you know. That would be really useful for your your own custom interchanges you don't have to keep rebuilding it every time so one thing I don't like about these is they are just way too massive they didn't build anything small enough so I mean if you want to build a massive city you know massive sprawling city going to use a lot of land because those highway interchanges are just a big waste so I get parking I will get all these things I think traffic is the most useful oh used up everything so yeah even though I'm not going to use any of these the demonstration would be if I wanted one of these, you know, I'd say mine's pretty compact in comparison. And I don't know, I think mine are a lot more efficient than these. Because you got, 
you know, an exit and a start of that, that loop on the left all right in one little spot. So you're just going to have traffic jams. And like these ones are actually really good, but if I wanted to build that, it takes up, you know, a big portion of the map. It's a waste of space. These ones were good too, but kind of a waste. And I don't I don't think that circle is very efficient. These ones are definitely the best, but again, it's just taking up too much space. So if I wanted that there, it would have been a big hog of space. And I had one of these on this map and then I took it out because it just looked weird. So, yeah, they should let us save our own little templates. Alright, I almost got a million dollars again, so let's get this up. Like, the least we can do is at least give them their uh, satisfaction. Healthcare availability is pretty low. I think that's more patience, right? Yeah, no. Alright. Do the same to the other one. Yeah, I kind of like that across the street. May as well start using that feature. Now the one thing I really miss about the old Sim City was those little thin parks we could build. You know, a one by five or a one by two. And then you could go into the, the modify thing and you could make it longer, wider, keep attaching every different type of park to it. I think that's kind of what they need to do. So we could have this and then go into the modify thing and it let you attach every type of park that's available. So the parks really suck. And I sure hope they give us some more parks for free because this is supposed to be the ultimate edition, right? But, and not only buying the Ultimate Edition, it's still supposed to be far superior to City Skylines 1, so they still kind of have a bar to hit. They they showed marinas in the pat or I mean in the the preview of this game. We don't have any such things, so I'm hoping they get the marina in here. I want to be able to have people boating and stuff like that and I think the texture painter would be useful because then at least we can paint our own texture and we don't have to use those stupid surfaces and I, I saw a few mods out there already but I don't really like using paint like you're just putting non-animated shorelines and stuff like that I think that's uh, a job for the developers to at least try because that beach DLC even if they said it was just an asset pack they should have done that at the very least given us a texture painter so we can make the beach and yeah, if, if they wanted to do the bare minimums, just give us the texture painter. So I'm not really doing any building here. I'm really just trying to monitor my money flow and see what I can afford. Um, I think my internet here, yeah, we're going to have to get that telecom tower and I actually thought those were like a million dollars before ok 
Okay, so we're gonna get that unlocked next. Let's see the, uh, the mail. Mail's not too bad overall. They are kind of in a struggle, so I think I'll build another building over here. Yeah. So you can pick it up and drop it off at this spot. Yeah, let's build the extra storage. We don't need the extra trucks because we've got two buildings now. So I think I still at least want to have the high school and college, but judging by that capacity and yeah, we're going to have to have quite a lot just for 31,000 people. So, 31,000, right? We got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 14,000 people out of 13,000 want to go to school. I don't know if that's quite right because they've only been alive for one year. You know. This one I kind of built a lot faster. I just want to get all these uh, milestone unlocks and see what I get each time. See how the progression works. We have more problems with ambulances. I think what we're going to have to also do is get the the big hospital, but that's uh, two million, and it's going to cost a lot. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I might be paying 130000 for these. Pharmaceuticals, ooh. Ambulance depot, maintenance, extension wing, medical, cl okay, total 321,000, okay, 300,000 per month, and this will cost 200,000 minimum, so I think that's what we're gonna have to do next is I'd probably replace that for this and then move the cemetery yeah or I would see if the crematorium might be a little bit more suitable 22,000 versus 27,000 Ooh. Alright, I think I'll just do one of those after. Decrease the space. But I think giving people choice is what you want. They don't all want to be cremated. Cute traffic jams, but... They were right that, you know, at least the icons and the high rent and all that kind of stuff is... They're not complaining about everything. Not as many abandoned buildings. That's also a plus. It does seem like it's running a lot smoother as well. Um, although my FPS is only about 30... I'm running on the highest speed. I can get it up to like 40. There's a lot going on in this city too. But yeah, I have the weather effects turned off, the day and night cycle turned off. The auto save always lags. This intersection, I think I'm just going to Make sure they can't park on it.
for whatever reason, it seems to actually help. Overall, it seems like a lot more people are relying on using pedestrian yeah, just pedestrians itself. Yeah, people are on foot a lot more. Like, you used to have to rely a lot more on these pedestrian st streets to get a lot of people on foot. But now it actually seems like a lot of them walk places. So that's good. They're all getting around a lot better. It kind of levels out the traffic a bit. I don't even think I have a single parking lot in this city. So, I think... Ooh, 80,000? 16,000 a month? Yeah, I don't know. I think just letting people park on the road is pretty good. But... Maybe... Having a parking lot might be good. Just in, in key areas. Yeah, let's try that out. We'll have one down here somewhere. I've used up pretty much all my land. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, this might be a little bit close to the other one, but that's fine. This one, maybe over here. The university, may as well have a, a big parking lot. Maybe down here, we have a medium one. Just gotta watch my money. Put it in the high speed. Another large one. That's pretty good overall. We got parking all the way around the city now. Not in the inner city, but we'll get one here. See if we got any more signature buildings. Nope. Alright. Um, maybe... No. Go for a medium. Well, yeah, I haven't really built anything this entire save. I'm just kind of reviewing things and saving up money. So, there's not a whole lot of activity going on. Now, I don't really like building connections over top of those, so... Usually just try and build a little bridge. Good enough. Need a road near the university. Might not be able to fit that specific road. Which is why I'm thinking I'll just put the alleyway. Move this uh, for now. Move it again. trying to keep the connections down to a minimum because once you start connecting these roads it's it's going to create a little bit of chaos and it won't be efficient anymore so I think in this area they can handle 
using those road connections. Hopefully I can get that in there. I don't think I can. But maybe I should go over here. Not straight. Yeah. That's the only thing they got right. Only thing they got right. I wish it was based on the city. Get at least some zones in there. I think that's fair. And then I'll put some uh, pathway alleyways. I like to make a bunch of varied size lots. So over here I can put a park or I can put a module maybe. No. 250,000, Jesus. Lecture rooms. Well, we're gonna have to. Not cheap doing anything in this. My, mon my money is slowly getting less and less. It was at 55,000 before, so... I think we're gonna build more of... A little bit higher end stuff here. Maybe a nice big building. We almost have that. So I think I'm going to unlock that. We don't want that too close there. We can do it here and here. Actually, I think I'll do that. Medium density there. Some more row housing here, maybe, yeah, four. Maybe a four here. Gotta get that commercial going again. We'll get it high density. We're gonna get these going in here. These will be big buildings eventually or I think I like the idea of just more row housing in this district here Since there's a uh, space here and there, they won't have that small homes complaint. I think they're pretty content. It's just the health care is down. It's surprising they don't say poor education. I'm barely even hanging on here. College, there's nobody. And once I get that in there, I need two of them. So, I think this is something they screwed up big time. Just give us higher capacity. I know it does seem excessive that there's 1,200 people going here, but it's got to be increased. A high school fits only 1,200 and an elementary school this tiny fits 1500 right so I think the numbers need to be adjusted yeah we're about to get this milestone unlock uh, what can I build what do I need crimes Ooh, jails jails are way down
but see I think there's something going on because they say the jails aren't are overloaded but why are they all going to that one so that could be a little bit of a problem so I guess we're also gonna need the police headquarters we're just gonna have to upgrade everything 2.1 mil we need that so I think that's what I'm gonna do is just expand my city a lot more outwards but then the demands is gonna grow even worse so I don't know maybe I just gotta save up uh, a few million very small rewards now Two hundred seventy-five, three hundred thousand. Yeah, very small. So I don't know if that's quite the best approach, but I don't really think we really needed that money boost, anyways. We just needed to manage our cities and get new unlocks. So now it's like, oh, now I'm at forty-seven thousand. What happened? What changed? Just these buildings. Okay, and I think I can actually build the high density. So I think we're gonna put one here. We need to have it close by. And I'm gonna put one here too. Yeah. A little taste of downtown and then I think my main downtown will be somewhere up there away from all the pollution yeah maybe a big downtown up here and then we'll have like all medium down there more farming up here probably take up that whole area so that's the one nice thing about this map is you got all your industry and everything all in one area so maybe I could use more industry just to boost my economy seems to help with uh, making that money yeah let's just do it one road exit another one here it's good enough for me all right we can put one more here at least the uh, the zones seem to work a lot better doesn't glitch out now I haven't had one just disappear yet which used to be a huge issue. Overlap and what? Oh, there's a bridge. That's fine. Even if you're building uh, smaller zones, it all adds up. 73 tons. Build this one all the way to the highway, who cares? Just going for uh, making more money now. So let's change that. Just a better, more approximate spot. Get some diamond smashing or whatever this was. I think this will help some of the most so if you want a lot more money in economy 2.0 you best make sure 
you're building farms and you're building a lot of them so I'm gonna put more trees that's why I made these massive forests so people could utilize them that was really the the goal of this map is just to make some easy Something easy for the economy 2.0. You got all these tiles pre-unlocked. You're not paying any taxes on those. You're only going to pay tax on new ones. So if I was going to buy a, a tile, you can see it's 52000 a month. Like that's just ridiculous. 52000 a month per tile. So I don't really like that. We need more disasters, we need earthquakes, UFOs, something. I think I like the idea of like, maybe some kind of military service and all sorts of stuff like that. Then it would just add a lot more gameplay. We should be able to change the color of our basketball courts and have some kind of modifying options i think every park should have some kind of modifier change the color of the texture if you want grass on the ground or whatever right should be able to choose some elements maybe you could choose grass dirt sand yeah or rock and then they could uh give us a choice of pavement, dirt, or st some kind of stone, pebble. Yeah, I think that would be interesting. That would at least make everything more modified. And it would be easy for them to do because it's all pre-existing textures. Alright, just watching the demands and getting enough for the next upgrade. I think it's going to have to be the, the police station because we got a lot of cells in there. And how much am I paying a month? Total 112. 112 a month. These are really bad. I don't know what they were thinking with those. So 170,000 minimum. 170,000 minimum. That's 112 a month, so maybe I'm using a little bit more than that. 49,000 yeah well using about the same amount as this new one is gonna cost I wish I would get a little bit of money back if I bulldoze it I don't know if I will I think it's only with like landmarks Yikes, 2.1 mil. Maybe. Well, no, we need that. We also need the, the hospital, which is 1.8 mil. But that one's just going to cost a lot more. And I think these people are fine, right? That's not really an alarming issue. I could just move my hospital and it would probably benefit a little bit more. Space for more patients. Let's do it. There we go. But let's see how much I'm paying for it now. Four, five hundred thousand a month. 
yeah, that actually shows, like, choices are a lot more severe. Everything you choose has more impact. Like, yeah, I'm paying a lot, over a million a month, just on that. So... I think I'll still do the police one first. Even though it's not gonna really decrease my budget too much, I think it's more important with the jail cell availability. We've got 80, three arrests, 50 capacity. But then you look at the average crime probability and it's 1%. So, I don't know. I wish we could, like, in SimCity 5, we could see where the criminals were. That would be kind of interesting. To at least be able to watch where it's actually happening. Like, you can see the, the crime thing, but you can't see anything. You don't actually know there's a crime going on. nothing nothing to see nothing changes like that's it this person standing out in their yard had no idea they were being robbed and yet they called the police yeah I got a lot of industry here so I think at, just as before, if you have a lot of industry and a lot of offices, you should manage your money pretty good. Especially once you start getting these big offices, they make a lot of money. I think I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more farms too, to kind of boost my economy. means maybe this whole triangle will just be farms yeah that kind of sounds interesting and then I save that for a big city distri district yeah I like that idea and I think I think they can handle just like a normal road going across because it's gonna be just farmland farming traffic only We'll see. They might start trying to use that as their own little road. But we're going to build pretty big farms. I think that's the goal here. Use up pretty much all the land. Yeah, I don't want too many connections, so I think I'll just kind of frame this. Put another one over here, though. Gotta give them uh, farmers a way out. probably just going to maximize this whole area so I think I'll just uh, start building farms not going to be going for realism at this point I'm just going to be purely trying to make the most out of it and I don't like that position either need to be able to get the whole area now I'll at least leave some trees there 
or at least room to grow more. The highway should at least have some stuff surrounding it. Yeah, that's good. So we'll build every type. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to figure out the road. And I shouldn't give access to these roads. I don't know why they're going to take that long route. Dummies. Which is probably why I shouldn't have that connection, but for now I think I'll keep it. field here. Keep that away. This song gives me the, uh, the SimCity vibe. Carrot farm. Yeah, let's just do it straight across. So yeah, let's not give them that road also. Don't make it too convenient. So yeah, let's make this one. I think I'll build the dairy house. It's uh, at least useful. Not a big polluter or anything. Okay, so I have all four, <coughs> all four subsections sections again. Now check my money. I'm making good money. I'm almost at that police or fires, police or hospital stage. I think the hospital does seem like the best option and then I build this somewhere else yeah I see a spot kind of over here so let's try do the swap out okay so it can't fit there let's see we don't really want it in the industry. It is a nice central area. But we're going to have to move it. I think... I'm going to move this. And this. probably gonna cost a little bit of money now yes that's where I wanted it and then I'm gonna delete those other hospitals and hopefully we should bounce back again so I think I will let them suffer a little bit Just let that money kind of level up again. See how much I'm making. Back up to 85,000 an hour. Very solid at that number. 82,500. 
So now I think I can build this. I'm going to be left with only about 100,000, but I should manage. Yeah, we're still okay. Helipad, 200,000. I think that's what we're going to get first. Alright, that's a su success. The next one would be the police, which is going to take up a lot of space. And I didn't have it done yet. So let's get that. Maybe even the prison. Maybe we'll get all this stuff here. There is at least some useful things in that. Now, this is pretty good to just build kind of near your farms. I think I'll just build it right there. I don't think they'll have any complaints. It does have a little bit of pollution. <clears throat> but it's not that bad. not bad enough to blow the wind and to be honest it seems like they they kind of leveled off the the pollution the air pollution seems a lot better if you have an educated population now so if you're getting more manufacturing jobs then you're gonna have a little bit less pollution So yeah, I, I'm actually enjoying this patch. I would say they did a good job in fixing this game. It's a lot more playable now. We can now build some extra specialized things. I think the helipad is the only thing I want. We'll just instantly build it because that's going to be so useful such a cheap upgrade now we see why I'm paying about a million a month but before that I was paying 700 and something thousand and I had really crappy uh, coverage so this is a very central location now we got the helicopter pad they should have no problems now I think I'll also build the crematorium somewhere nearby. Yeah, we can probably fit it in somewhere around here. That at least should clear up these ambulance waiting. Even though it seems a lot worse than it was before. There should be a lot more coverage, yeah. We can get around now. These ambulances do seem faster. It kind of looks like they're, they're doing that weird loop thing where they just go in circles. So they do still have to fix some things here. Make sure you guys all come out of that building and you don't just do a loop. Taking a right turn. Yeah, it's very inefficient the way things are being done. But, it, it does work. Now they're starting to clear out that wave. Well, I think this video is going on a little bit too long anyways. And, I think I have shown all there is to show. 
the economy 2.0 update is substantially better I would actually say it's amazing how well they fix the game I actually thought it would be more broken so yeah glad they fixed a lot of these issues and yeah now we just have to wait for them to kind of update the game give us the assets and all that kind of stuff and yeah we're good to go well thanks for watching if you like this content please hit like and subscribe and have a good day or have a good night and goodbye